Okay. Now let me go back to the beginning. I am going to share my screen and welcome you all. Folks, welcome. Welcome to Draw Comics with Dana Sullivan. Uh, I'm Vicki Heck. I'm a librarian at Newcastle Library, part of King County Library System. And I am honored to work with Newcastle Arts Council today to provide our wonderful artist, Dana Sullivan, here today. Dana, until very recently, lived in Newcastle, Washington. He, a couple of years ago, moved out to the Olympic Peninsula. So he's got to spread his wealth around Washington, I guess. But we are so lucky to have him online today on Zoom. Thank you for joining us, Dana. Um, so I did want to give a shout out to our partners, Newcastle Arts Council, City of Newcastle, and Four Culture, our partners on this program. I wanted to give you just a little Zoom housekeeping. So everyone is gonna be muted for this program. We have a large audience. So just for the flow of the show, we're gonna leave everybody muted. You are welcome to turn your videos on. In fact, we would love it. Dana is gonna be asking you to hold up the art that you're drawing on your cameras so he can take a look. And uh, so we encourage you to turn your video on if you're willing, but your choice. And we are asking you to engage with us in chat today. Jane is gonna be asking some questions for you to type in chat. We are also gonna be facilitating a little Q and A questions and answers with Dana after his, the main part of his presentation. So we'll be encouraging your questions in chat then. We also have closed captioning available for this program. And I've given, given some instructions about how you can either turn that on or turn it off if it's um, distracting you in the Zoom window. Uh, you essentially wanna look for that live transcript icon on the bottom of your Zoom window, and then you can either enable or show subtitle or hide subtitle. And I wanted to tell you very quickly just about some upcoming programs that we have scheduled with Newcastle Arts Council. So please take a note of those. I'll be posting the links to those in chat as well a little later on but just wanted to let you know about those upcoming programs. And now I would love to introduce our presenter, Dana Sullivan to you. He has got a wonderful website we'd love for you to check out, danajsullivan.com. And so Dana grew, there it is, thank you, Dana. Dana grew up in Southern California drawing on every piece of paper he could find, especially his math homework. He kept at it until somebody finally published one of his books. He lives in Port Townsend, uh, Washington on the Olympic Peninsula with his wonderful wife, Vicki, Benny the dog, and Max, who pretty much stays in his urn. And that, and that is the basis of Dana's wonderful Dead Max comic series. Let's see if I can show you this in the book. Oh, there he is. And Dana's showing his shirt as well. Um, Dana is a wonderful teacher. Uh, he teaches picture, picture book illustration and graphic novels for teens and adults. And his favorite color is dog. And his favorite vegetable is peanut butter. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I am gonna turn it over to Dana. Dana, welcome. Thank you, Vicki. I really appreciate that wonderful intro. And uh, thank you to KCLS, the li library, the Newcastle Library, one of my favorite libraries in the world, and to uh, Newcastle Arts. So Edward Flash is the boss of that and, and an amazing job with this. So, so I've been, even though I moved away, I keep watching what you're doing and it's always just been really cool and amazing. So hello, kids, adults, people. I love to see that so many of you are here. Let's see, how many do we have? I, I forget how to tell. Oh, 77. 70, yeah. 78, maybe. Somebody just two people. Anyway, uh, which is wonderful. Um, many of you have your, your cameras off, but as Vicki said, I am going to ask you to all draw. That's why we're here. So everybody needs a pencil. You don't have to have a big, you can have a regular pencil. It's, regular pencils work. Um, I'm actually going to use a Sharpie so that you can see what I draw. So you can use whatever you want, something very good. I've seen, I've seen a lot of pencils and then a bunch of some paper. So at least a few sheets of, of just regular old copy paper. And I mostly draw on copy paper. I think um, some people have very nice sketchbooks and I have very nice sketchbooks too and I'm afraid to use them. I don't know about you guys, but I go, eh, I can't draw that well today. I don't want to ruin a great book. So I, I ruin a, 
a lousy piece of paper and I feel just fine about it. So, um, and believe me, everybody, I don't know how you guys all feel about art, but even those of us who do it for a living, uh, sometimes feel like we can't draw, I can't draw today. Oh no, I can't draw. And so uh, let me just give you a real quick rundown of, of who I am. And then, uh, uh, this is my first book, it was Ozzy in the Art Contest. This picture book came out a few years ago by a little blue dog who's a very good artist. And then my second book is called KK's Alphabet Safari. It's about uh, a man uh, in Kenya, and it's actually based on a based on a real guy named KK who paints walls of an orphanage in, called Star of Hope in Kenya. My Red Velvet Cape was uh, my third book or so. And it stars, you can see, at my dog, Benny, right there. It stars my dog, Benny. In fact, I have Benny up on the wall behind me. You can see there's Ozzy. My, somebody made a puppet of Ozzy hanging on the wall and there's Alonzo, which is actually my dog, Benny. And that's Mateo, the star of my Red Velvet Cape. So um, that's my red velvet cape. And there are two uh, family farm books, which are a lot of fun because they have the, again, star a dog named Rocky. Rocky the dog is actually, again, my dog, Max, but because I put a dog in almost every book I, I do. And it, this is about, and there are two of these family farm books. And what's fun about these is the, all the, the cars and the tractors and stuff all have personalities. They're very, very fun to draw. Um, whenever I'm stuck with an idea for a book, I put a dog in it and things just magically happen. I'm also the uh, illustrator for uh, the Digger and Daisy series. And these are called early readers. They're for younger readers who are just beginning to read. And they star, well, I'll be darned, two dogs. Uh, Digger is the younger brother and Daisy is the older sister. And um, they were written by somebody else. So that's kind of a weird thing <clears throat> is to draw somebody else's words. And it's written by Judy Young. And uh, something that many people don't know is that artists and that the illustrator and the writer of the book almost never meet. We never meet, we don't get emails, anything like that. I, uh, Judy Young would give their, her words to the editor, the publisher, the person who prints the book, and then the they would send me the words and I'd draw it. So I didn't even meet Judy Young until we were on our fourth book together. The Bob books, anybody out there see, ever seen these Bob books? I've done two sets of these. Uh, there are 11 books inside of it and they're very fun too. And um, I did know the uh, author of this book. She was actually a friend of mine. So that was kind of unusual. Okay, then I, so those are my picture books, but the reason I'm teaching comics is because of the Dead Max series. So this is this is Dead Max, and he's based on my dog Max, who is dead. Um, he's dead now. He died a long time ago. He lived a long and happy life. He was a lo lovely dog, and I I missed him terribly, and uh, and I kept drawing pictures about him, and uh, until finally I I came up with a story about a, a boy who looks a lot like me when I was a kid. Um, who misses his, whose dog dies immediately in the first book. So nobody cries, don't worry about it. Um, but he comes back as a ghost as soon as he gets uh, cremated. And uh, so there's books, book one is the deadening. Number two is the rocking dead because they, uh, they form a band, the rocking dead. Number three is called bully for you because Max is kind of a cat hater and he gets a lot of flack for it. So. He finally kind of comes around. And the final book is coming out uh, just in a couple of weeks called The Furball of the Apocalypse. And it's a really crazy story about big robot piranha monsters who you know, change from goldfish and they're after, out to destroy the world. And only Max can, I don't know really, I can't remember how it goes, but it's fun. It's crazy. And uh, most of the book is drawn actually by Derek which is very cool. So that's me. But I was saying earlier, sometimes I feel like, oh, shoot, I can't draw. Today, my hand isn't working. I can't draw. And that really happens to everybody. Or sometimes I think I don't have any ideas for a book. So what do I do? Good question. What I do is I make a doodle. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a doodle with this, pencil, this pen on this piece of paper. 
and then I want you to all copy it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a doodle. Okay, so that's a doodle. A doodle is not a drawing. It's just a random kind of weird scribble. So I want everybody to sort of copy that. Okay. When you're done copying it, hold it up so I can see you've done copying it. Okay, good. All right on, right on. Okay, looking good. All right. Okay, good. Wait, Teresa, let me see. I didn't see that, Teresa. Let's see that again. Okay. Uh, all right. I trust you. Now, I'm going to give us all a minute. I want it to draw. So take a look at this drawing and look at it upside down, sideways, backwards if you can. What do you see in that picture? What does that, what do you see in that picture? Now I want you to draw it. So everybody has a minute. Go. Eleven seconds, everybody. Draw like the wind. Ding, ding, ding. My timer is not loud. I don't know why, but time's up. Pencils down, everybody. Okay, let's. Everybody, hold up what you got. Let's see. You got to hold it really close. All right, all right. Let's see. Wow, I'm seeing faces, I'm seeing bugs. Wow, I'm seeing mountains. Those are like Dr. Seuss mountains. I love them. Look, I've seen more faces, squiggles, boats, uh, real close, MK, I can't see it. Okay, I see another face, cool. All right, oh, I see a horse. Horses are hard. Oh, I see a big face, that's really great. These are wonderful, you guys. Okay, somebody let Emma into the room. I'm gonna do it. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. Okay, here's what I drew. I drew a, a guy looking down at a bug who's saying, hello. He's kind of surprised. All right, let's try another one. Vicky, do you want to make a doodle and then we'll copy your doodle? Vicky's saying no. Yes, I, I would this. love to. I would okay. love to. Let's see. Okay, here's my doodle. All right. You're I hope you can see it. Can you see it? I can see. I can see it well enough. Slide it down a little bit. I want to see the top of it. Okay. All right. A kind of a spiral up, a loose spiral up. A loose spiral. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm going to see if I can turn my volume up on the mic. Come on, get loud. Okay, everybody has a minute. Go. Okay, that's loud. All right, let's see what you got. Ed, let's see yours. Cool, cool. Ooh, I see bugs, I see hearts, I see 
<laughs> I see beach umbrellas <laughs> and like a drink with a, a beach umbrella. Eva, I know what you're thinking about. Okay. Uh, oh, I see some glasses. I think on a bug. A lot of cool stuff. These are really neat. Great. Shania, let me see that again. Get it really close. Let's see. Come on. Get it up there. You got to block your view. You can't be able to see. Okay. Now get it really close to the camera. Really close. There you go. Okay, well, oh, oh, I see it, I see it now. Very cool, very spirally. I did a, what did I do? Oh, I did a butterfly that just came out of a cocoon. And I tried to make those look not like worms. They look a little look like worms, but. All right. Hey, me, mine, yours, yours, him, him, him. Hold it closer because your, your green screen is, Killing it. There you go. Get closer, closer, even closer. There you go. All right. All right. Cool. Excellent. Very bold. I like, I like you drawing with the pen. Okay. Ed, you want to do one? Does somebody else want to volunteer to do a um, Pirab? Okay. Pirab, you're on, man. Do it, do a doodle. Do it really dark so everybody can see it. No pressure. Okay. Hold it way up. Really close, really, 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 really close. Where'd you go? Ah. Where'd, where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I spotlit him, but I'll remove it. Can you find him now? No. Oh, ah. Dana, I'm so sorry. I thought I was being helpful to spotlight him, <laughs> <laughs> but I messed it up. Okay. Ah, ah there he is. There he is. Sure. I'm going oh, to see if I can add spotlight. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. hold it there. Hold it there. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, you're, you are a doodle master, dude. Mm, looks yeah. good. Okay. All right, so everybody got it? Got that weird doodle? Crab, you need help, man. Your, you, your mind is crazy. I love it. All right, we're going to, we got a minute. Everybody go, including you, Pure App. Her one. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's okay to make yourself crack up, you guys. Okay, four seconds. I'm gonna go back to gallery. Let's see what you got. Let's see. All right, I've got a lot of action. That was a very active. Oh, look at that running! I love that. Uh, me, my, me, 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 me. Line up. All right, T dragon. Very cool. I can see it. A, like a bird and some wheels all right sorry i missed it sorry <laughs> that's okay mk <laughs> good job though uh eva nice i see a girl ed let's see what you got don't be shy ed all right cool all right a landscape oh look at all those uh the iphone you did a cool looks like a bug or something with a lot of millipede I did some a, a superhero who's afraid and running away from somebody really evil. So that's not much of a superhero, right? But I kind of like him. All right. You want to do one more? You want to get to something else? Okay. I see the walk. One more. One more. Okay. One more. Okay. Who who wants to do this one? Let's see a hand. A Aira. Can, Can you spotlight her? I will if I find her. People move. Oh, there you are. Okay. Boom. That's spotlight. Okay. Am I saying your name right, Aira? Just not. Oh, she's. Oh, oh okay. okay. Aira. 
Okay, well, you go ahead and, well, I need to know how to say your name. So can you un unmute and sit, tell me your Let's name? See. I think I can ask her too. There you go. Oh, Ira. 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 Thank you, Ira. Okay, thanks, Ira. Okay, draw your doodle. Look at that cool castle back there. <laughs> I love your efficient chair. Okay. All right, everybody. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. But hold it still. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, up, down. Da. I think we can all make up our own for this one. Okay. And I like those dots. Everybody has to get those dots in there. All right. Is everybody ready? This is going to be a weird one. And go. Twelve seconds, folks. Tick tock. Okay, let's see what you got. Ooh, Vicky, that's a crazy one. It's like a big map and, and stars and stuff. Ira, I want to see what you did because you're the you're the one who made us go through all this. Get closer. Closer. Cool, cool. All ooh, I see a fish down there. Three. I love that fish. No birds. A bird flying around, and a moose. Somebody did a moose. Oh my gosh! I've never seen that. And look at those piranha. I love the piranha, George. Yeah, Shania. Very cool. I did a um, a person's having trouble with their hair. My hair. I can't quite comb their hair today. Jasmine, what do you got? Give it up. Give it up. Yeah. Oh, you have a professional clipboard. Very nice. Uh, I can't quite see. Closer, closer, closer. Closer, closer. Uh, hang on. Hold still. Hang on. I'm going to see if this helps. Boom. Wow. Okay. It looks scary, whatever it is. Oh, looks like, a, like maybe a horse. Something, side view, profile, and you did some shading. Nice job. Okay, we're going to move on. Let's see. This was a great exercise in creativity, Dana. Everybody well, sees things differently, so I love that. that you know, that, that, thank you, Vicki. Thank you for adding, telling, giving the lesson, because <laughs> it's true. Um, you know, we all see everything differently, and it's very cool. Sometimes when you look at a painting that's abstract, they call it abstract, um, sometimes you still see stuff in it because our minds really want to make pictures out of things. And I love that so many people can see different things in a, in a character. Like, and now I'm thinking about this character is kind of cool. Like a, I kind of like the idea of a hero, but he's, he's kind of a fraidy cat. You know, he's like, I don't think today's the day I'm going to fight hero. And when, one day I did this thing, I'm going to show you. I got a, Doodled, and it came up with super loogie and I thought that's kind of cool I think a crime fighting loogie would be great he'd be like the the phlegm crime fighter you know and he'd say come on dribble that's his psychic come on dribble let's blow so but anyway so I haven't quite worked out the details yet but but you can take take some real uh creativity get some real, real creativity out of your scribbles because they're loose and they're goofy and you're not um you're not concerned with making a masterpiece 
okay? Because I think as soon as you start want to make a masterpiece, you put too much pressure on yourself. Okay, so we don't want any pressure. I'm going to see over here, this is where I'm going to draw now. This is my Wacom tablet. Some people call them Wacom, but I like Wacom. But it's my tablet and I can draw on it. And I'm going to share my screen on that so you can actually see better. <clears throat> but we're going to do, do a, some emotions. And I want you to draw along with me. So grab another sheet of paper or turn the piece of paper over. And uh, so we don't waste paper. We never want to waste paper because it's our friend. And I'm going to draw here. OK, can everybody see that? Good. So let's do somebody who's really uh, surprised or shocked. So I'm going to start with making a, actually, I can still see some of you in the, in the gallery. Everybody looked shocked. I'm going to say one, two, three, boo, look shocked. OK, some of you, there you go. OK, so I'm going to make a head, uh, a head, just going to make it a circle. Can give two ears you can see their ears because they have one's got a, a apostrophe in the side the other one's got a comma and it just turns them into ears so one thing i saw with shocked is eyes really big and sometimes you can make the eyes even bigger than the head because they can pop off the head and then i'm going to put the eyes here like the eyeballs and i like to keep them uh white i like to keep white in the center of them because it adds a little life to it and then the mouth obviously went big. I saw Vicky's mouth go really big. Vicky's mouth went bigger than her head. So I made it bigger than her head. And you can tell it's a mouth because it's got a, it's got a tongue in there. And a tongue is just like a valentine with a round bottom to it. And when you're, when you're surprised, think about that. And when I draw, I make the face I'm drawing. I go, ah! and I And I make the sound. I go, ah! So when I do that, I think, okay, does my hair lie flat or would it? stick up i'm gonna make it stick up and i see some there's some raised hands it says in my chat i'm not sure what i'm what i can do with that but sorry i'm drawing i'm not allowed to answer raised you're, hands at this point. you're doing fine you're doing good um so hair can be up and then eyebrows i saw vicky's eyebrows if you look carefully for just a minute they actually popped off her head so boom way up there now i'm gonna do a little neck and a little body, because I think it's funny to draw a little tiny body with a big fat head. And legs go down with the feet up. And then I'm going to make a little shadow down here to show that this person is actually jumping off the ground. And the hands, a lot of times when you're surprised, you kind of go, ah. So I'm going to do the hands up here. Now, shocked and surprise look a lot like, could look a lot like scared. So if you want this person scared, they can be scared. So there's the hands. Hands can be tough. I just make them like dog paws. I don't, I don't worry about, okay, do I have, actually I do have enough fingers. That's kind of interesting. Not, some, not all the time. I do three fingers and I four fingers, but this time I got lucky. Oh, and the cheeks, maybe the cheeks will be red. And you don't even have to make them red. You can just make some marks on the cheeks. And I think we all know that that means a red cheek. So there we got. Oh, and then in cartoons, you can make these lines, the, the surprise lines. Hey, Dana, Dana, somebody had a question. When you're doing um, expressions, do you use a mirror so you can see your own expression? I do sometimes. I'll use either a mirror or I'll, I'll use my... Uh, the camera on my um, my computer or my phone. But yeah, a mirror is a great way to get uh, expressions. You just look at yourself and go, what is good? Because sometimes you can find the image, but not exactly what you want. Sometimes when I'm doing a pose, like like when somebody's um, gonna, like a baseball player, I think, well, what does that look like? And I'll turn on my camera, I'll go, ah, 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 and pick up my leg. And, oh, by the way, you may have seen, my bunny slipper. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll show you later. So yeah, that's a great, great, great idea is to use your mirror. So now we have got a picture of somebody who's very shocked, very surprised. But you know what? I am kind of curious. What? Don't draw that. Don't draw that question mark. I'm curious what you think this person is being surprised by. 
surprise, shock, something crazy. What crazy thing? I'm going to give you all one minute to draw a crazy thing. Draw something weird down there that this person is, is shocked by. Go. I'm going to go back to screens. Uh oh, I'm cracking myself up. All right. Let's see what you got. Hold them up, folks. Let's see what you got. Pull it really close to the thing that's surprising them. Oh, those are really good drawings, you guys. Really good drawings. <laughs> there's, there's a caterpillar saying hi. A snake. That's a good one. Snake. A spider. A big, 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 big spider with this bird. I love it. I see a dragon. I see a kind of ghosty guy. Ooh, somebody was drawing in red. That's a really scary picture. Very cool. Hi, a little robot. Maybe the Roomba came to life. Roop, 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 roop. Vicky, what'd you draw? I was otherwise occupied. Otherwise occupied, okay. Yes, I'll participate the next one. That's okay. Ed, how about you? What, what was yours? Yeah. Get a little higher, a little higher. Is that a gecko maybe? Some sort of, yeah, okay, some sort of, whatever you call those animals, reptiles, there. Okay, very nice, you guys did great. Ooh, two presents, oh my gosh, somebody got two presents. That would surprise me too. <laughs> a one-eyed Sri, I love that, one-eyed weird little monster dude. Okay, cool. I'll show you what I did, because it kind of cracked me up. I did my, my big old pencil, so I, I had to make it into me. I put my glasses on, and then my big old pencil is tired of working for me, so he's running away. I'm like, what am I going to do without my pencil? All right, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to grab a new piece of paper, and I want you to do that too. Grab a piece, piece of paper, turn yours over. Let's do somebody who is very, very sad. Very, very sad. So I'm going to draw a head again. Head. I'm going to do this kind of funny one. Put the ears down low. This is the nose. You can tell because look, two nostrils and a big sad mouth. And it's kind of fun to make the bottom of the mouth come up like that. And then here's that tongue again. Nose. I really do make sounds. And then little body. You know, this time I'm gonna have little body sitting because he's just sitting on the floor. Cheeks are red. He's maybe having a tantrum. Mm -hmm. So his arms are just kind of coming up and down. See how the, the, the hands look kind of like dog paws? You can never go wrong with dog paws. So here's his other leg. And then he's crying so much. You see the tears coming out. Wham, wham, wham. In fact, maybe he's crying so much he's sitting in a puddle of his own tears. And when you do water, it's good to do like these reflection lines. They come straight at you. I don't know why, they just do. I read a lot of cartoons and I copy what other people do. That's the best way to learn, by the way. Copy, plagiarize, that's why God gave you eyes. Copy how other people do it and you'll learn how to do it too. So he's crying, maybe shaking, he's crying so hard. Okay, now, why is this person so sad? Like, I'll make it me again. So here's my teeth, here's my glasses. 
<laughs> okay. Here's my dead Mac shirt. <laughs> okay, good. Now I want to see what you guys come up with that makes this person, this me, or whoever you do, so sad, okay? I'll have a minute. Let's see what you got. <laughs> I love what people are saying. I made a guy who got broccoli for dessert. That would shock them. Goliath, eat bird, eating spider. I can use my computer to draw, rock on. Mine was scared by a buff mouse. Okay, and wah, nice. Oh wait, I gotta dr get drawing. Sorry folks, I'll shut up. Okay, let's see what you got. Let's see, I'm going to turn off the oh, library closed. <laughs> that made, yeah, of course, the library is closed. That makes me cry every time. I see a bee. I can tell it's a bee because it's yellow. Shania, nice job. A bee with stripey. Uh, oh, those are, those are very sad people. Somebody's, oh, did I hurt my knee? Sri, did I skin my knee? Ow, ow. That would make me cry. Definitely. <laughs> There's a big spider. <laughs> Kev, I like it. That's a big spider who must have killed me, I guess. That's that's a bad spider. Okay. Very cool. Nice job, you guys. You're all doing great. Let's see. I'll show you what I drew, but what's what made me so sad. I dropped my ice cream cone. And the flies are even there. I'd probably pick it up. If no one was around, I'd pick it up and eat it. So you can, you can, you can guarantee it. I would pick it up and eat it. All right. See a lot of really good drawings. I, uh, you would too, Ira. Yeah, you would. Okay. Now, let's do a thing. I'm going to do a thing now where I'm going to um, draw. I need your help. I need to know a few things. You know, Kevin? I need an animal. So first of all, I need somebody, the first person to put an animal in the chat. An animal that I think is cool. Cat, eh, dog, eh, dog, snow leopard, mm, camel, camel it is. Okay, we have a camel. Okay, somebody tell me, so camel. What is that camel's name? Go. Dragon, monkey, dragon. I think we're still on animals here. I needed, I needed Fred. Fred, that's a good one. Fred, hello, Pedro. I, Pedro the camel. Okay, Pedro the camel. You can tell these aren't, this isn't fair. I get to, I'm the boss. I just get to say. So I like the name Boxer. That's a cool name. Okay, moving on. Camel, Pedro. What instrument does Pedro the camel play? Give me an instrument. A lyre. Does somebody say lyre? Okay, uh, I'm going to go with lyre because I'm not really sure what that looks like. I'm not sure either. I think it looks like, oh wait, a liar is one of those things, a small harp, right? Whoever said liar. Yeah, it's a small harp. Small harp, okay. Yep. Okay, and now I need a vehicle, some sort of moving, some vehicle, it can be anything. What, what, a bus, a Ford Mustang, Vespa, buggy, motorcycle, unicycle, a unicycle it is. Okay, so just to recap, we have, and thank you all, these are all beautiful, and we're going to save this chat for, so I can make books later from your hard work. I love, I love that idea. Um, we have a camel named Pedro. He is riding a unicycle, and he's playing a lyre. A lyre. L-Y-R-E, by the way, is lyre. So now I'm not going to look any of these up. You know, because I could, I could go to Google Images and say, what does a camel look like? I don't know, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm just going to draw. A cam I know camels have kind of a big 
knows. Are you going to share your screen so we can watch you create? That, what a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, what a great idea. I was going to do it. I want you all to draw too. And maybe you might be able to draw a camel better than I do. Okay, so there's that big nose. And they have kind of a weird, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You never know what, what I'm going to give you ears. Looks like a big sheep, but oh well. Um, yeah, one thing I do know about camels is they have a hump, sometimes two. There we go. There we go. And he's got hooves, which are kind of triangular. And he's holding a lyre. And a lyre, I should know, I'm Irish, and the Irish harp is kind of the symbol of the country. So there is my lyre. That's the frame. Here's the strings. And here's the other, other uh, hoof over here, plain. Now, the weird thing about all animals, <clears throat> like horses and things, oh, let's play with the ears a little bit. I'm stalling. I'm actually stalling right here. I'm drawing the ears in detail, which make no difference. But I don't want to draw the weird legs, because they have weird legs. So I'm just going to draw legs. I'm not going to worry about how they really and there's that, there we go. And there's the seat of a unicycle. And now I have to draw a unicycle. The unicycle is not going to go straight up and down. It's going to have a little wheel because I ran out of room. And here's one pedal. And the other pedal is way over here. Here's the other a hoof. Dun, 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 it's riding the unicycle. Now I'm gonna, and he's singing. La, 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 la. Playing music and traveling, and playing the lyre. And the humps are kind of fuzzy. I can't remember this is called a dromedary. There's something for a one hump camel and one something for a two hump camel. And luckily we have a librarian here, so she knows everything. Because librarians know everything. Well, we know where to look for everything. That is right. That is right. <laughs> and I know where to look. There's our, oh, so our uh, Pedro. Pedro, the unicycle riding liar playing camel. He no liar. Um, on fire. That's awesome. So, and if you don't say ain't, you can say is. I, I am no liar. I am no liar. I'm on fire. Because, okay, his liar is on fire. Okay. All right. Let's see what you guys drew. I'm going to stop sharing. I want to see your drawings. <laughs> Ooh, those are good camels. Those are, oh, that's an awesome camel. Look how hairy, Ron, I love the, the Beatles haircut on that guy, which is pretty accurate as far as I remember. Shania, let's get a little closer, please. Really close, really close, really close. Cool, that's a good liar. It's a better liar than mine. <laughs> George, I love that, uh, the, the unicycle. You know, you, it looks like you know how camel legs really look. That's great. Very cool, you guys. Very awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, cool. All right, let's make a comment now. Let's try making a comment. We've got 15 minutes. So everybody grab another piece of paper, or turn your piece of paper over. <clears throat> I'm gonna remember to show my screen now. I'm gonna get rid of, see you later, Pedro. I want you to take your piece of paper and it could be tall or wide, I don't care. 
but make a border around the edge. Go real close to the edge, like this. You can see I cannot draw a straight line. It is not necessary to be able to draw a straight line. I'm gonna put one line down the middle going down and one going side to side in the middle like this. So it looks, it might look like a window, but since we are now cartoonists, it looks like a page with a panel in it. Okay. So I'm gonna draw, um, I'm going, to, I'm going to start off with a story. So everyone knows, I think we're all taught, a good story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it usually starts with a really, most comics that we love or books that we love, it's because we love the character. So I think we love, we all have come to love Pedro, Pedro the camel. So I'm going to draw Pedro the camel. And he, or she, I'm not even sure, is walking along and oh I like that beetle haircut so I'm gonna give him more hair and ears and he's walking along and, and I'm not gonna draw all of it because that's too hard. And let's see what does he see? Vicky what does he see? I'm gonna make everybody work here. Oh let me see uh, what does he see? He sees um uh a Oh my gosh. Um, mountaintop with a, oh with a llama on it. <laughs> okay. So here's a mountaintop with a llama. Med a meditating llama. A meditating llama. Okay. Boy, when you come up with ideas, you come up with ideas. Okay. Well, a meditating llama. Uh, do they have ears? I don't know. Cross legs. Yeah, that's beautiful. And uh, so I'm not really going into detail because it's way off. And there's the snow, and there's the there's the bottom of the mountain. And in cartoons, you can do little dotted lines from the eyes. Do, 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 do. I see a llama. Wait, llamas do have ears that stick up. Mm -hmm. okay, oh, maybe yeah. it's a donkey. Could be a donkey. Anyway. All right, I like that. I like it so far. So that's number one. I'm going to go over here to number two. By the way, if you're going to draw faster than I do, and some people do, don't draw in this fourth panel yet. No, no, no. We're going to leave that. Okay. So that's Pedro sees the donkey. So I think Pedro climbs up the hill. Climbs, 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 top of the mountain. And uh, I didn't leave enough room. So, yes, says the llama, bends over, still sitting, meditating. Yes, what do you want, my good sir? Is that hum? He's sweating. Ah, 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 ah. In the snow. All right. Pedro sees the llama. Pedro climbs up to the llama. Now we're going to have the final. So that's the beginning, the middle, and the end. How can I end this? Well, let me think. Dana, Gwen in chat called it the Dolly Llama. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Dolly Lama. Very clever. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So now we have the ending and I have to figure out, let's see, I'm going to make this mountain because frankly, I'm stalling. <clears throat> and We'll put, here's Pedro. Oh no, Pedro keeps looking less and less like a, like, oh no. Ooh. I was like, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong, Pedro? Do they have tails? I don't know. 
because Oh no, says Dalai Lama. Peter actually accidentally pushed Dolly off the mountain. Oh no. You might even say oops to show that it's not really what. Pedro wanted. I'm going to put some birds up here to show her way up, in the, way up in the air. Oh no, put some shock lines. We all know how to do shock lines from earlier. Okay. I want to see what you guys have drawn. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, we're going to let somebody in. Look. Okay. Let, let's see what you got. Oh, I see some good camels. Good camels. How you doing? It's kind of a weird story. It's the weirdest story I've ever drawn, I'll tell you that. Taylor, can you get closer? Oh, not, that's a great camel. Okay, you're doing the next workshop. Vicki, take down Taylor's name. Taylor's gonna do the next shot. Okay, very cool. All right, cool. Oh, I like that. Sorry, uh, Sandy. I love that uh, that <laughs> that um, lava falling off the hill. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, you guys are all brilliant geniuses. But here's the deal. Uh, R. L. Stein is a he. He's written a bajillion books, all very suspenseful, very great stories. They just move along. People love them. Well, in the movie Goosebumps, his character, who's played by Jack Black, tells the kids at the end every good story has a beginning, a middle, and a twist. You have to say it like that, twist. So I want you to take that fourth panel. I want you all to give me a new ending. And don't even worry if you haven't drawn the first three. That doesn't matter. So I want, um, I want you guys to draw your new ending. What's going to happen? What is going to happen? OK, you all have a minute. And then I'm going to check back with you. And you're going to be geniuses. Go for it. Something goofy, something weird. Try not to kill anybody. But go ahead and make me say, what? I didn't see that coming. I'm going to go draw two. Oh no, how do we do? How'd you guys do? Let's see, what kind of crazy ending? Get it really close, Shania. Really close, really close. Really close. Boom, did, did they fall down on a, I can't tell, on a big tree, fell on a tree? Let's see, other things. Pedro, <laughs> now Pedro is up. <laughs> Oh, a parachute. I see a parachute. And I see Pedro is now up on the mountain. He's the, the one meditated on the mountain. I guess that makes sense. The next person. Uh, George, hold it closer. Closer, closer. Can't read it. Uh, Al, Al, Sorry. Too blurry. I can't see. You're going to have to uh, scan him and send him to, to Vicky. Okay. All right. Ooh, there's. They're both falling. I'll show you what I did. I, <clears throat> we didn't know, but um, we actually have the, the alpaca, no, the Dalai Lama has a, um, that is a, a sled. So there's a sled nearby. They both go sledding all the way down to the bottom. All right. 
So very cool. It mm. is time. Actually, we, we need to do uh, a quick Q and A. So okay. does anybody have any That's questions for me? Yeah, folks, type your questions into chat if you possibly can. Well, I um, kind of wrap things up as we're waiting for some questions to come in. Dana, that was a wonderful. And I think my main takeaway that you illustrated so well is just be crazy. Don't think about what other people think. Everyone has such unique ideas and artistic ability and nobody's going to draw like Dana. Dana draws like Dana and you draw like your beautiful selves. And yeah. I saw some fantastic things that were displayed on there. And I want to give a shout out to my adult participants for playing along with us because we all have that creativity and fun inside us all. So I'm so grateful that my adult attendees yeah. joined us today. And hopefully that unleashed some of your um, uh, creativity. Yeah. Uh, and, and kids, kids, you got to know that it's scary for adults to come into a class with a bunch of kids. Trust me on that. Um, mm -hmm. And on that same point, Vicki, about um, the way other people draw. I mean, look at these. This is my bookshelf back there. Whoa, I have a bunch of books and they're all drawn by different people. If you go to the library, you see all these books. They're all drawn by different people. That means that everybody draws differently and you can't be scared because you can't draw as well as, say, I can't draw as well as Kazu Kibuishi. You know, he draws his way. I draw my way. We all draw our own uh, funny stories our way. And the most, uh, the way you draw is somebody's going to love it. Somebody's going to love it. So, um, Hey, Dana, have you ever talked with other cartoonists like Lincoln Pierce? I have talked, not with Lincoln Pierce, but I've talked with, uh, with uh, other cartoonists. And it's always fun to share ideas about how to, in fact, um, Dave Pilkey uh, and I did a, a, a little workshop together one time. Scared. I was so scared. I was, I was afraid to talk to him. But, um, but it turns out he's a very sweet guy. Most, most cartoonists are very sweet, very nice people. Uh, Dana Simpson, um, uh, Phoebe and her unicorn, um, Kevin Atterbury, they're all, he's a friend of mine. So yeah, they're, I love, love other, talking to other cartoonists. Awesome. Um, Do you have any good comics? I mean, other than your own that you recommend? Do you have any favorite series comics? I do. I, I love, uh, um, well, Phoebe and her unicorn. I love, I love Dog Man um, by Dave Pilkey and, and Captain Underpants. By Dave Pilkey, Nimona. I really like Nimona. It's a, it's a what, lumberjanes. Lumberjanes is very cool about these tough girls. And um, uh, in fact, and who else? Who else do I like to read? Um, I like just comics. I love Garfield. I love Snoopy. I love Calvin Hobbes is my favorite. Probably my favorite. And you know when when you when I said uh, the, the way you learn to draw is by seeing seeing how other people draw. Because that's how you, I'm seeing Captain Underpants right on Betsy. Um, look, I have a Captain Underpants right here. Uh, <laughs> He's wearing that. Hey, Dana, how, oh, and I did want to, um, on that note, uh, everyone, we have a fantastic section in any library, any King County library, just go in and ask your librarian where her, um, kids graphic novels are we have a whole devoted section for graphic novels this is where we have um dana's dead max series and all the ones he just mentioned as well so yeah. we can help help you find some good comics at the library i just found uh thunder and cluck friends don't eat friends uh another one i just just started reading um chick and brain <laughs> by cc bell she did el defo um, so I love them. You know, Marola, you've got your hand held so care. I want, I want to go ahead, unmute yourself. Let's hear it. Okay. I'll ask him to unmute. Are you unmuted? Can you ask your question? Can't okay. hear you. Turn That's up okay. Your phone. Well, he is working on that. I've got another question. How did you get started bookmaking? Um, well, I've always drawn pictures and I, uh, and about 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, I quit my job. I used to work at Costco and, um, 
and which I loved, but I needed to be more creative. And I just started drawing. I joined a society of children book writers and illustrators, and I took classes, a lot of classes, and did a lot of a uh, lot of writing classes, a lot of drawing classes, and finally um, uh, found an agent and um, and then got into an Aussie in the art contest. It was actually uh, based on a uh, okay, Morella will check the chat. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love that drawing, yeah. Um, until I find a publisher who published uh, Ozzy and the Art Contest. So that's how I got into it. But it's a, a lot of nice people helped me along the way. And a lot of people helped me too. Uh, uh, Ozzy and the Art Contest is a, a, a picture book. It's 32 pages, but I had to do, I think, 100, at least 100 drafts on that, which is, you know, nobody likes to do that many drafts, please. So, Morella, you have tips for dragons. Do I have tips for dragons, like how to draw dragons? I'm a terrible dragon drawer. I don't know why. It's not fair. But I think when I draw a, a dragon, I make it, I make a dinosaur and then I make it mean. <laughs> and I make, or an alligator, and I make fire coming out. But Nimona, I, I, I strongly recommend uh, looking at Nimona uh, for dragons because she turns into a dragon. Um, but yeah, I'm not a very good dragon person. Sorry, I wish I were. So Dana, um, do you draw in, well, I think you draw on your computer, but the question was, do you draw in pencil first? And then when do you add color? I, I usually draw in pencil first. I, I <laughs> grab, I'm just starting, starting a new project. And so first thing I did was, draw sketches with pencil mm -hmm. and there's the kids in the book so a bunch of and here's they they one of the dogs is really smart and made a robot dog and and if i and i like to draw first in pencil really loose so i don't worry too much about what they really look like but if they crack me up i know i'm, I'm on the right track and, and then after that i will i usually now draw it on my computer and then I will do color later but I don't do color for a while um, until I get the character the way I, I really like them and and the color might be on the computer or it might be with my watercolors mm. and I like to sketch with my watercolors like this book here uh, I'll just use a sharpie like this Sharpie and I draw with a Sharpie because uh, I can't erase it and I will just go draw something and I, I won't care if the line's not the right line. I won't care. I just make another line that I like until I like it and then I take a little, some watercolor and color it. So that's a boat in Port Townsend here where I live. So that's that's how that works. Awesome. I think um, we have room for yeah. one more question maybe. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. I invite everyone to check out um, DanaJSullivan.com. He's got all his um, books and information and events on there. Uh, somebody posted in chat, are Dana's books in KCLS? And yes, they are. So you can search our kcls.org catalog for Dana's books or ask your local librarian. Yeah. And somebody had mentioned how neat it was to think about just um, doodling about, they didn't understand how much you can accomplish uh, just by doodling. And I did want to point out that we do have at the library, we've got some books like how to doodle. So you can just type Google into our catalog search engine and it'll come back with some good books. I included a book list that I compiled for this program that, that brings you some of Dana's books as well as cartoon books and how to get started. We have a lot of um, illustrated guides on our shelves at our libraries. Yeah. And, and ask for the section because, um, ask for the section work for how to draw cartoons because there's how to draw manga, there's how to draw you know, Marvel comics, how to draw Barbie, how to draw Tinkerbell, you know, that kind of thing. And they're really good books on how to draw. Okay. Absolutely. I have a last thing. So I need you all to unmute. This oh, is going to get crazy. Wow. So I'm not sure. Okay. Unmute if you can. Uh, wait, wait, let me figure this out. 
Oh, wait, allow participants to unmute themselves. Yes. Okay, I did it. Okay, so unmute. I want you to all raise your pencils and repeat after me. I promise. I promise. Keep writing. Keep writing. Writing. Keep drawing. And keep drawing. Keep story. My story. Because nobody. Because nobody. Nobody. Stories. You have to hit yourself. Stories. 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 The way I can. The way I can. I can. Right on. That was terrible. Loud. Right on. Right on. Right on. That's cool because you just yelled in a library. Isn't that fun? In a library. <laughs> okay, we're done repeating. Good job. Thanks, everyone. We're going to wrap it up now. And, uh, Bye. I have a question. Bye. 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 Oh, I have a question. Well, wait, wait, Dana, you better go. We got to let Dana go. He's got lots of comics to draw. So we're going to say goodbye to you. Dana. Bye. We'll talk you. to you. Thanks for attending, everyone. Thank and you, thanks Vicky. to Thank the you, Newcastle Art Council. Thank you. Thank you for the class.